By the end of this video, you're gonna know how to get the latest music as a DJ. Let's get into it. Every DJ gets their music from DJ record pools, yeah? But what is a record pool? A DJ record pool is a regionalized and centralized method of music distribution and that allows DJs to receive promotional music to play in nightclubs and other events such as weddings, festivals, and on the radio. Basically, it's just a big place where you subscribe to and you get access to all their music in their database. I'm subscribed to the following. DJ City, The Mashup, Heavy Hit, and Franchise Record Pool. All them record pools provide brand new music to me every single week, but some of them also provide me with old school music from back in the day so I can fill up my music library. It is so important to have record pools at your disposal, so make sure that you're having more than one record pool because, to be honest, to get the latest music, you can't just go to one. Yeah, you need to be signed up to multiple. You're not gonna go to one music shop and get all the music from there. You need to go different areas, you need to go different places. So it's the same with record pools. Make sure that you're signed up to at least two minimum to get the latest music for you as a DJ. What I'm gonna do today is actually go through each of these record pools that I just mentioned and talk you through how I get the latest music off there and show you the pages that provide the latest music. Let's head over to the computer now. Right, so as you can see here, we are now on DJ City UK. First of all, disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by any of these pages. I don't get anything out of these pages. I'm just doing this so I can help you DJs know exactly where to go for new music. But yeah, so this is DJ City. So you come to the page, they just re they just rebranded their new page. So it looks nice, man, it looks clean. So what you'll do, you'll sign up to DJ City, which is 20 pounds a month. But what they do, they do it, they do it in three month installments. So every three months you'll pay 60 pounds. And then you have access to all their music. So as a new DJ and you want to get the latest music, as you come to the front page, you can see that it has new releases. So this has all the new releases on all these genres up here above. So you can go down, search through each one. So the latest, so the last time they updated was yesterday, Tuesday, the 1st of September. So that you can go through all these songs and what you can do, you can press play. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me, man. <laughs> You can press play and you can go through um, all these different songs and see which ones you like. And then what you can do, you can go to this free buttons over here and you can download the version you can, um, or add it to your crate and then you can download it in the future. Um, so yeah, so you, this is how you can see all your new releases. So what I tend to do is just go to hip hop and then just go through and listen to each one. If I like it, download it, add it to my music library. As simple as that. And then like, you, like I said before, they have all these different tabs. So depending on what music you like or depending on what DJ you are, you can go to each each tab and then go through it. Um, but personally to me, this is a great, this is a great uh, website to get all your latest music from. And also on the right hand side here, it has um, most popular music. So it will have all the greatest songs on the website that people rate the most. So yeah, DJ City is one of the one of the websites that I go to for my latest music. Let's head over to the mashup. So this is the mashup website. This is a great, great website to get mashups, remixes of your favorite songs, but also they do actually upload some of the latest music on the website. So I, I'm signed up to this record pool because it's just great. I love some of the mashups because they give me more variety of all the music I kind of play. This is a great place to get new music as well. So if you come over to the top here, actually before I get into this, uh, the mashup is 20 pounds per month. Again, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just helping you lot out. So 20 pounds a month and you can get access to all their music. So what you can do, what I tend to do every single Thursday, because they release music every single Thursday at 6pm, um, you can come over to here and you can go to since last upload. So you can click this and then what it will do, it will give you all the latest songs that they've just uploaded on that day or that Thursday. So it's great. So what I'll do is I'll go down, I'll press play and then listen to the songs and you can see that they've got a star rating up here, a star rating here as well. So people will rate it and then you can just check it out, see what you think, you can rate it yourself as well. So um, <clears throat> what you can do on the right hand side is you can click the heart button and then it will go into your basket and then what you can do from then is just download all the music into a zip file. But what I tend to do is just go through each and every one, see which ones I like, add it to the basket and then download them all at once. Um, again, like I said, the mashup is a great, great website if you're a brand new DJ and you wanna get la the latest music. Um, so yeah, so as you can see here, it says 265 new tracks since last upload day. So as a new DJ, you can come to this and get 265 new songs if you want to download them all. But yeah, so that's the mashup. Let's head over to Heavy Hits. So I just got recently plugged with this website, yeah. When you come to this website, yeah, it looks clean. Actually looks like Spotify, man. So I haven't really gone through the website too much because I'm new to it myself. So what I'll do is 
So as a new DJ and you want to get the latest music, you can come over to this tab over here and actually click new releases. And then you can come here and then what you can do is, it says added the 9th, uh, September 2nd. So I think, is that, the, is that today? Is that today? 2nd of September. Yes, that's today. So they're quite on the ball with giving out the latest music. So you can come down here, you can go through and like all the other websites. You can just download them on the spots. You can get the clean version, dirty version, instrumental version of all these tracks. So there's loads of different genres on here. So you can go through and also on the right hand side, they've got the heavy picks and heavy hits, the best songs on the website. So as a brand new DJ, I suggest you sign up to the heavy hits record pool. The payment for it is the first month you sign up is, the, is $5. And then on from that is like $20, I think it is. I'll put the... Um, the actual figures here when I when I edit the video. Um, but yeah, it's a great website. My guy DJ Day Day plugged me with it. Um, it has all the latest music, man. And you know what's good about this website, actually? You can go to playlists up here, yeah? It will give you a bunch of playlists. So, like, you can go to each playlist and just get all the music. So, for instance, um, I can go down to TikTok trending. So, all this latest TikTok tracks. I'm going to this. And then it will give me all the latest TikTok tracks from there. So this is a great website to get all the latest music, the trending music and all that stuff. So yeah, this is Heavy Hits Record Pool. Let me know if you sign up to this in the comments. So the last record pool I'm signed up to is Franchise Record Pool, my baby. So when you come to Franchise Record Pool or FRP Live as they've called it now, you can see that the website is nice and clean and refreshed. They had an old website, it was old and cluttered, but now they've panned up the thing and they've uploaded it. So this is the front page. So as you can see, they've got all the genres on the left-hand side, but also they've got the latest music on the front page under all music. So if you see here, it's got released and it's got it from, uh, that's yesterday. So you can come down here and let's check out all the latest music. So FRP is known for all the hip-hop music and all the, U the US music. So if you're in into your US hip-hop, make sure you come over here and check it out, man. But what you can do, you can filter it. So you can come over to the left-hand side, click R&B, and it'll give you all the latest R&B songs. Reggae, so I think that goes reggae and dancehall. So you've got like alkaline and stuff like that. Then they've got like throwbacks. This, this is one of the favorite things I love about this website. It gives you all like the 90s throwbacks, 2000s throwbacks and stuff like that. It's a great, great website. But for this video, it's all about the latest music. So like, like, like I said, hip hop, you can go to hip hop and just get all the latest music that you want. You can get the acapella, you can get the outro, you can get the intro and stuff like that. It's, great website and this costs $20 a month which is about £16 in the UK so yeah man this is these are four of the greatest record pools that I'm signed up to if you lot are signed up to any other record pools leave them down in the comments below so I can check them out man because I might do a review on them so other people can see them so that's everything I need to talk about record pools let's head over to Spotify so I can teach you how I get the latest music on there right so another way I love to get brand new music is at, or actually no, you know what? Another way I want to, I like to discover brand new music before I get new music is actually Spotify. Spotify is a great, great place to actually discover brand new music if you're following the right playlists. So for me, I'm an urban DJ. I like my hip hop, UK music, R and B, etc. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm following the correct playlist on Spotify. So what I do, so this is Spotify now. Your your homepage is customized to pretty much whatever you're listening to. So you can see here. I listened to the Who We Be playlist. Nines just dropped a new tape, Hard. Um, Duckavelli, Bando Diaries, Bad Boy Tune. Do you know what I mean? Like all these things are actually great for discovering new music. Actually, let me plug my guy Double right now. He's just created a brand new YouTube series where he's released, so he's giving you five songs that you should hear immediately. He's got a sushi playlist here. So if you come over to here, he's got 122 songs in here that you should hear immediately as an urban DJ or any DJ, in fact. Um, he's got a YouTube series. Actually, going through, I'm going to plug him here, actually. Um, but yeah, if you are if you want to find out new, new music, definitely come check out Double's playlist. But the way I go about getting new music from Spotify is literally coming down to... I have, a, I have a folder here called Main Playlists. So if I come into here now, I've got all the playlists. I've got 18 playlists in here that I always check for brand new music. So what I'll do is I'll go over to, let's say, Rap Caviar down here. So now in Rap Caviar, it's got a bunch, a bunch of new music in here that I want to listen to because 
I love rap, I love hip hop, do you know what I mean? So I can go through here, it's got a new pop, it's got Pop Smoke, it's got a new Drake tune, it's got What's Poppin', Jack Harlow, all this sort of stuff. And if you look on the right hand side here, under here, you can see when the song was added to the playlist. So you can keep up to date when a new song was added to this playlist. So if you see here, two days ago, Big Sean, Harder Than Demons, that's a brand new song added to the playlist. So you should be adding that to your music library. So what I tend to do is I go to a, I go to a playlist. So let me go to another one. Let's head over to um, Who We'd Be, actually. So let's head over to Who We'd Be. So if you see here, like it's got a bunch of tunes from NSG, Nine, Teddy One. So when I find a song that I actually like, I'll go over to Spotify, I'll listen to it, and then what I'll do is I'll press the like button here. So I'll click this, and I'll go through each of the songs. Ain't It Different by Heady One, Bad Boy Track, Grease, Drake, uh, WAP, expensive so these four songs i've just selected now so what i can do now is head over to my liked songs in my library and you can see the part of the five songs that i just selected there if you see here a few seconds ago they're now added to my liked songs so then what i can do is i can get all these liked songs and then I can go to my record pools and then download them. I can go to DJ City, I can go to Franchise Record Pool, I can go to the mashup and download these. And then once I've downloaded them, I can take them out of my liked songs and then they'll go. So I can keep up to date and keep track of all my brand new music. This is a great, great way to find new music and keep up to date with new music, especially if you're on the go. Like when I'm driving to work or when I'm at work or on the train, I hear a song, I'm like, you know what, yeah, this could be banging in my, new, in my music library for a DJ. So I can like the song, then when I, come, when I come home, I can go through all my liked songs and then actually download all the songs that I want. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like, Spotify always has these playlists where if you finish a playlist, it will just give you, to, it will take you to a brand new one. So you might hear music that you've never heard before, but trust me, Spotify is a great, great way to discover new music as a DJ. So use the method I just done there. So go through all your playlists, your favorite playlists, listen to the songs. If you like the song, press, uh, add them to your liked songs. Then when you come home, Go through all your like songs and download them on all the record pools. This is why I say sign up to multiple record pools because some record pools might not have these songs, but another one might. So make sure that you're subscribed to multiple record pools, use the Spotify technique, and I guarantee that you'll be getting new music every single day, in fact, every single week. So make sure that you're using this method. So right, so let's head over to SoundCloud now where I can show you how I discover new music on there. Let's get it. Right, so SoundCloud is a funny one. I rarely use SoundCloud as much as I should because you know what? So many artists and so many up and coming artists put their new music on here. So I should really be checking this out as, uh, more than I should, but I'm just gonna show you guys how I would get new music on, on SoundCloud. Um, so what I'll do, so this is the homepage. And what you can do is um, you can come down to charts top 50. So you can go into all music genres, yeah. You'll see here all like the latest music. Because if you see here, you've got Pop Smoke, Mood Swings, WAP, Digger D Roy, KXI Lighter. So you can come to here. It's just like Spotify. You can add your songs to your, your library. And then what you can do is you can go through your library, then download them on to, from your record pools. It's just as simple as that. Um, so yeah, what I would do is just come to Spotify, come to these playlists, top 50 all music genres, and it will have all the songs that I like, Simba, Rover, do you know what I mean? But then you can also go back, and then if you scroll down a bit more, you've got charts, new and hot. This is a great place to come for brand new music. So if I go to here, all new music, all music genres, come into here now, and then it has all different songs. So this is this, this is the new Swarms, Swarms tune that came out last week. So I'll click on this. I can press play. Do you know what I mean? I can play all these songs. I can see if I like it. Then I can like it, add it to my, add it to my library, and then I can go back. I can keep going through and just having a look at all the brand new music in this playlist. So yeah, SoundCloud is a great place for discovering new talent as well as the new music that's coming out from the big, the big artists. So yeah, make sure that you're hit, uh, you're checking out SoundCloud. Come to these little playlists, see what songs you like, add them to your library, then download them from your record pools. Right, so the next place we're going to head over to is Mixcloud, where you can listen to DJ mixes and then get the songs from that and then add them to your music library and then download them. Let's get into it. So, as you can see here, as a DJ, you should have a Mixcloud account. If you haven't got a Mixcloud account, I'm going to leave the link up here and the video up here so you can create your Mixcloud account and start uploading DJ mixes. But yeah, so... So as a DJ, you can come to Mixcloud and actually find DJ profiles where they're doing um, 
like monthly mixes of the new songs. So I can scroll down here and you can see my guy in Furious, he's doing a September 2020 mix. So that's gonna have all the six songs from September, or sorry, the six songs from August actually, because it just turned September. So it'll have all the latest music from August, do you know what I mean? So if you're curious and you wanna find new music, you can listen to these and then you can Shazam them or you can type up the lyrics if you hear them and go to, uh, to genius.com and type in the lyrics and then find the song. But Mixcloud is a great, great place to find brand new music because DJs have DJs have the latest music, so they're going to be putting in, them into their mixes so their fans can listen. So if I scroll down a little bit more, um, RV, great example of the guy. He always drops brand new music. He's just dropped a brand new Bank Holiday mini mix, which should have all the latest music in there. So make sure you go check out RV. I used to do it where if you come if you come to my profile and I scroll down a bit. If you see here, I used to do February edition. And if I scroll up a bit more, I did March, uh, March edition. Stuff like that. And then April edition. So this is a great way for DJs to come to DJ's pages and listen to the songs from April, March of different months. So make sure that you're going to check out some new DJs on Mixcloud. I'll give you some to listen to, yeah? Because you know what? These guys are my guys, so I've got to plug them. So make sure you go check out my guy DJ RV. He is killing it in the game, nearly at 70,000 followers. So go check him out. He's got plenty of, plenty of mixes. He's actually just released a brand new radio station on his mix cloud where, actually it's a prime example of what I said earlier. He does an April 2020, May 2020, June 2020, July. Great example of him playing the brand new music on his radio station. So you know what? I'm just going to plug RV on here now. RV is a great example of where you can come and listen to brand new music on Mixcloud. But, but yeah, that's Mixcloud. The last, last place I'm going to take you over to get the latest music is YouTube. Let's get into it. So the way I find music on YouTube is just pretty much typing in the artist or typing in whatever. But I also like to subscribe to some of the following channels. For example, I like to follow up. Link Up TV, they have all like the latest grime tunes, U latest UK tunes. So I love to come in here. So when they drop a new tune, I'll get a notification on my phone and it will take me straight to the page. Same with um, same with GRM Daily. I am I follow GM, GRM Daily religiously because they release brand new songs pretty much every day. But every Friday, there's always a banger that comes out. So if you see this GRM pre premiere, they have all these latest tunes. That comment. YouTube is a great, great place to discover new music, especially if you're subscribing to the right channels. You can also subscribe to um, artists themselves. So I'm subscribed to I'm subscribed to Burner Boy. So I can come over to Burner Boy's uh, page, and then he's releasing brand new music whenever he drops new music. So you can come see the music video. If you like it, you can get the name of the song, go to your record pool, and download it. So if you have any favorite artists on your, if you have any favorite artists that you admire that you listen to all the time, like Chris Brown, Trey Songs, uh, Kojo Funds, people like that, you can subscribe to their YouTube channel and then just wait for them to drop new music. And then if you like it. Download it on your record pools. So yeah, YouTube is a great, great place to discover new music as well. Oh, right. So yeah, there are all the different ways I like to discover and get the latest music as a DJ. I just need to say to you again, it is so important that you have different places where you discover brand new music. There's so much new music out there, yeah? And you need to make sure that you're going to different sources and different places. So make sure that you're signed up to the record pools. Make sure that you've got a Spotify account. Make sure you've got a YouTube account, SoundCloud account. Make sure that you have all these different sources to get brand new music. Because as a DJ, you need to make yourself unique you can try and get songs that other DJs don't have, man. So make sure that you've got loads and loads of different sources as a DJ to make yourself unique and make yourself sick. But yeah, that's the video, man. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification to get notified every single time I post a video. But yeah, I'm DJ CB and we're out.